G'day folks, this fella, he was taken just down the road, 72 kilos, don't know what that is in pounds, but he was pretty close to the road and pretty close to the house. This video is me working out a penetration test. 150 SST hand loads versus 150 round nose uh, hand loads. This is the standard 30-30 round, which I'm putting into a 308 today, and this is a standard 308 round I normally use for hunting. I wanna work out which one of these two has the best penetration. First of all, of course, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the rifle shot in. So, one round of 308 round nose, and all I need to do is move my dog, Cleo. Come back here. Come here. Here we are sighting in. This is the target we were shooting at. I don't know, we're about 40 mil low. We can live with that, we can deal with that. Onto the uh, drum test. Before we get too far into this, let's go through the rig. This is a standard Savage Axis uh, number one El Cheapo uh, by Cheap Build. 10 round magazine. That's a West Hunter, uh, what is it? West Hunter 2 to 6 LVPO. Um, I don't use this rifle for more than about 100 meter targets, so this is more than enough. MDT chassis, MDT. Uh, skeleton stock, MDT hand grip, and a cheap ass Harris bipod. Um, pretty simple setup. You don't need to spend a fortune to go and get pigs. And you can see what damage they'll do to these milk jugs. So you can imagine the damage they're going to do to a pig. First shot, milk jugs. <laughs> There's 10 milk jugs down there. Uh, all three litre, all different colours, so you can see the water pouring out. First shot is going to be the SSTs. Um, let's see how we go. That's some pretty imp impressive rippage. That's one. That's two. That's three. The SST has gone into the fourth and out. Into the fifth, but no exit hole. There's a bit of a dent. Let's see if we caught it. All right. Wow, I'm gonna bring that up for a bit of a close up. That's pretty good. All right, we'll go back and hopefully five more will stop around those. Here we are back for second shot. Second shot, 150 grain interlock Hornady round nose. Same round you'd find in a 30-30. Same powder charge, same everything else in a 308. Let's see the penetration of a round nose. Oh, oh. right -o. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. 
No, five, because that one we put in as a catch. So it also went in five deep. Come in here and we'll see if we caught it. All right. There's this self point round nose. It's pretty well mushroomed as well. Let's compare it to the other one. I don't know. All right, folks, what do you think? Put down in the comments, which one do you think did a better job? Well, here I am back at my editing suite, and I've decided that since these two projectiles look so different, this one's much larger, that's the round nose. The SST has lost, I believe, has lost more weight. So I've got out my little scales. Unfortunately, they're only in grains, so I can't do anything about that. I can't give you, sorry, they're only in grams. I can't give you anything in grains. Um, but we'll see how much weight these are both holding. Just holding them, I reckon the uh, round nose is a little bit heavier. And maybe that's why it's the round that's taken more deer than anything else in the world. Anyway, on with the test. I've got both projectiles that we recovered. This is the SST. It's still 5.3 grams. Sorry, I can't do it in grains. It's still 6.1 grams. So the round nose has actually kept a lot more uh, weight as well as being obviously much, much wider than the uh, SST. All right, just a quick recap. Today, we tested out two rounds, the SST 150 grain um, projectile versus the round nose 150 grain projectile. Both of them punched through five uh, milk bottles or got caught in the fifth milk bottle, sorry. And the both of them um, stayed in basically one piece. We didn't really lose much. There wasn't other pieces inside the drums. Um, but the round nose held a lot more uh, weight. So um, I reckon it's going to punch you a bit better. I mean, round nose is already going to be better through thick scrub, which is pretty much what we hunt around here. So, um, yep, I'm going to give them much more of a go this year. What do you think? More down in the comments. Um, anyway, please, if you've got any value from this, like and subscribe so my video can get pushed out to other people. It's free, so it doesn't hurt. And then I can make more videos just like this. Anyway, thanks for watching.